face when I'm on assignment. Yeah, stress free, cause the problems ain't bigger than who I'm aligned with. I turn away from my old ways, cause none of them things besides. What's good, Sora Gang? It's your boy, Soup. And yes, we're back with another video. Y'all, all right. Ultimate Alien X, a devastating concept. Can Alien X be upgraded? So as we all know, I'm a Dragon Ball fan, right? But over the past few months, I've been thinking collectively and actually listening to what you guys have to say especially when it comes down to the power scaling between both universes. And it's come to my attention that it the like whatever universe you go to, you have to abide by their rules, right? That's what I've learned. So say if you like a God tier and, or you're like outer in one universe, that doesn't necessarily transfer over to the next verse and it, it it doesn't yeah it doesn't transfer over to the next verse like you you'll be strong but you still gotta abide by their concepts just because you're a god in the next verse right doesn't mean that you'll be a god in this verse so say like a great example right i'm watching a series called uh what if goku was in the records of ragnarok verse right he's extremely strong Right, but the way people do the power conversions is completely wonky. But we'll get to that in uh, another video if you guys would like for me to react to that. Anyway, I feel like you guys did tell me something about how Alien X was like he combined with clock, some a clock alien. I don't remember his name. Clockwork. I don't remember what <laughs> what they called it, but he combined with that. So now he was multiversal plus. He had the power to stop time. That's ridiculous. So we about to see what Intent got to say about that. And I'm, I'm looking to learn more and more about, you know, certain characters. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to, make sure to subscribe. Whoa. Make sure to subscribe and smash the like button for you, boy. Let's check it out. The idea of an ultimate alien X seems impossible. With all of his power and everything he could do, how do you take it even further? On this channel, we have an ongoing segment of Ash's drawing matrix called Ultimate Overhaul, where a new batch of ultimate aliens are created every so often. While Ash has no interest in creating an ultimate alien X, I decided. I do it myself. Although this task was a bigger challenge than you think, we've done. They're like, how would he? Like, how would you make an, an ultimate version of somebody who's already, like, deemed as the strongest version of, strongest alien that Ben has? Like, what, like, how? Dozens of videos on Alien X over the years covering everything about him in great detail, from his powers, appearances, home world, and limitations. But even if you haven't seen those, you're probably aware, at least a little by now, of Alien X's insane reality bending multiversal abilities. And with the Ultimatrix, which evolves each transformation by a million years of intense combat training, how does one take evidently infinite power a step further? Get ready, because things are going to get complicated and slightly philosophical. Calling this complicated is the only way to phrase this subject. So my only thing is when it comes down to like, like the power scaling for certain characters, it's like we can't use our personal headcanon of what we think could happen because we get caught up. I, I'm a victim of that too. So I'm a, be the first to say like, I'm a victim of, okay, if he did this, if let's, let's say character X did this, right? So that means that he's able to do the same thing in universe O, right? It, it doesn't work like that, right? And that's what I'm figuring out. It doesn't, it really doesn't work that way. Some might say that the idea of the ultimate alien X is a flawed proposal to begin with. Yeah, and in he's already strong. Agree with that. The challenge of an ultimate alien X can be divided into three reasons. A, he's already impressively powerful 
and with endless ways to diversify his capabilities, on top of the baffling scale in which he can do such things, where do you even go from there? B. Ben's personal perception and characteristics would be undoubtedly affected by evolving to such a high consciousness state, and it creates an ethical query on why someone would even use this transformation in the first place. Yeah, like, I feel like the threat in order for somebody like a ultimate alien actually it's gonna have to be like somebody who's outer like somebody like akuto sai and even then with akuto like even if you got an ultimate alien x and you told him to fight akuto sai akuto like i said i'm a firm believer that you can't do what you did in your verse in the next verse Right? I don't think it makes much sense because that means that you're disregarding the other universe's um, abilities and their rules, right? So I don't think that you could just, you know, do that. Unless it's similar. C. Due to these dead ends, can this topic even go anywhere beyond broad strokes? Nonetheless, I still have my own speculations and theories on how this transformation could work. It may get a bit intensive, but the more I think about this concept, the more my mind wanders towards these facets and repercussions. And while I find the topic both fascinating and frustrating, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on whether or not this transformation is morally and efficiently effective. Let's begin. Part 1. Appearance. There's been many different ideas for Like, how would you draw an ultimate alien at? Like, what, like, what, 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 yeah, like, a galaxy wrapped around his arms would he have like a halo but it's like a galaxy or a universe like he has like seven universes around his head like a halo and then he has like a galaxy warped around his arms or something like that I don't know has the power to control the universe and higher, the only way to be stronger is to become one with the universe. Similar to many concepts of higher powers in So how strong would ultimate alien okay so if by Intink's opinion, right, he's saying that if an ultimate form for Alien X for him to become stronger would be fusing with the universe itself what will make, you know, Merge Zamasu when he fused with the universe? But then he got erased. So, like, would it mean that you need somebody to erase Ultimate Alien X? Oh, that's crazy. Various religions, Ultimate Alien X will no longer have a physical form but instead become an intangible presence throughout the multiverse, as if he was a universe himself. His presence is everywhere, literally, but in a metaphysical state. The air you breathe, the stars in the sky, that's all of them. He could perhaps create a physical avatar to interact with people and environments physically if he wanted to, but with godlike power, I don't see a benefit in that. Something like that would just be for show, or to make his surrounding friends, family, and comrades have an easier time communicating with him. I realize that this is similar to post-crisis Darkseid from DC, but while this idea is not inspired by him, I'll at least acknowledge the connection for those that saw the same conclusion. I can't imagine his physical avatar would need to look like anything specific, as up- Ah, uh, no, like the other one looked kind of weird. I don't know, like, I'm not saying I could do better. I feel like I could, but I don't know. I wouldn't know where to, like, start to, like, draw him. I wouldn't know where, like, how to, like, do it. Because I feel like anything else would be, like, too fan fiction. It wouldn't look official. Unlike Ben's other transformations, the avatar of Ultimate Alien X is created by Ben. It can technically look like anything if he wants it to. But it's fun to imagine the infinite possibilities of what he could look like. Oh, that looks kind of cold. Hold on. Hold on. It's fun to imagine the infinite possibilities of what he could. This looks kind of dope. I like this one. Could look like, but 
looks are just the tip of the iceberg. Part 2, on this news. It goes without saying that Ultimate Alien X will retain this reality-altering abilities, which are already incomprehensibly powerful in his base form alone, manipulating time, creating universes, even altering the fourth wall of the show. It's hard to perceive how to make something like that even more powerful, so I decided to focus on how this affects Ben inside of Alien X instead. To continue, while Alien X is already omniscient, which is possessing absolute and infinite knowledge, it's only by selective choice. Ben as base form Alien X has been shown to have the capability to know everything if he wanted to, but he needs to make the decision to discover that information every time. Think of a security guard watching a display of dozens of monitors. The guard has the capability to see everywhere throughout the building, but he can only look at a handful of monitors at a time. To evolve this, Ultimate Alien X would always be aware of everything all of the time. Since he is the universe, Ultimate Alien X can perceive what's happening with every person or alien inside of that dimension simultaneously. Infinite hearing, sight, and comprehensiveness. I feel like that must be annoying to like infinitely, infinitely know what's going on at all times. Don't you like, well, yeah, I don't really care. Like it's up to y'all. Like if it was me, Right, I probably wouldn't care what's what's happening in the universe. I'm like, it has nothing to do with me. I'm just a being who could exist everywhere and do anything I want. Like, if I could live life however I wanted, the only problem I would have is if somebody is trying to like take over the universe. I'm like, bro, first of all, no, because that's me. I am the universe that you live in, right? But like, I wouldn't really care to like. I wouldn't care what's going on. Like, I, it has nothing to do with me at all. I would not care. But, again, like, the concept, like, it's kind of hard trying to wrap your brain around, like, how would you make somebody like that more powerful? Because he's already strong. Or, back to my previous example, instead of having to choose which monitors to look at, all of that information will be automatically downloaded into his mind as if he's already studied everything there is to know. And since base form Alien X is already beyond time, then in this scenario, the hypothetical guard would be able to know what's going to happen in the future of that footage as well. If there were hidden cameras placed absolutely everywhere in the universe from the dawn of time till the death of the universe, Ultimate Alien X's perception would be as if he's seen each and every recording all the way through and memorized it. That is one part that would be hard for mortals such as ourselves to be able to relate to. You, it's hurting my head trying to like understand all of this. This is crazy. Hearing and understanding trillions of beings all at once without being overwhelmed or confused. From there, Ben can access the status of the nature of the universe as a whole and can pick and choose how he wants to alter the course of the universe and make multiple changes at the same time. He doesn't have to focus on only one section of the universe anymore, like he did with base form Alien X, because now, he is everything. Part 3, Intelligence. Ben's essence would spread out endlessly through his universe, and be able to maintain time and space much easier. Bellicus and Serena would still technically be there too, but Ben and them would have merged into one, practically creating a new being entirely. This merged personality also helps with comprehending trillions of beings at once, because Ben will now have multidimensional comprehensiveness and intelligence. So that means that Ben wouldn't really be Ben anymore. He's going to be three people. But as this would technically create a new being, that leads to his draw. Ultimate Alien X, Ben would lose a lot of his humanity. I don't yeah. think that Ben can no longer transform back to human. He can technically do that at any point he wants to. But that he'd no longer simply be just Ben. With his heightened awareness, abilities, and boosted comprehensiveness, it would be hard to hold on to his mortal thoughts and personality. He would perceive so much in such a large, complex perspective, he wouldn't feel like himself anymore. He couldn't think as a mortal anymore. 
used the entire universe. There's so much going on, so many things to perceive, that everything that makes him bend would be lost in the vast ocean of reality. He can change back, but he may never want to. He doesn't just see the bigger picture, he is the bigger, the bigger picture. picture. And once you have that awareness, he may just become an emotionless cosmic deity that operates in ways we can't comprehend. Everything that makes us who we are is based on nature and nurture. Where did we grow up? How were we raised? Who is part of our family? What friends have we made along the way? What hardships have pulled us down? And what inspired us to overcome them? Ben's now perceiving infinite variations of the human experience through each and every person in the universe. How can you become an individual when you're simulating every possible way you can shape a human being all at once? In a way, this could be a good thing. No individuality means no bias, no fear, no selective morals. Part 5. Practicality. We will never see the world the way Ultimate Alien X does. So who can truly see the ethical decisions behind what Ben does and doesn't do in that state? What's harmful to one planet may be beneficial to another, and only Ben can see that. It's dangerous to be all-knowing, and frustrating to those who aren't. Yeah, I feel like... When you look at it on a, like a deeper level, it's like trying to be everywhere at once, trying to do everything at once at the same time while everything is existing all at once. It's like, it's it's confusing, right? It hurts your head. Like even trying to think about it right now, it hurts your head. Cause it's like, damn, well, it may help this planet, but it hurts this planet if I do this to this planet. Or if I take care of this galaxy, it hurts that galaxy. So it's like, there's no equilibrium at all. Like nothing would like just stay okay. Like something has to go in order for something to thrive. And it's like, and when you're a God, it's like, damn. No, when you're a human trying to think like a God, it's like, damn. Well, I see from this point of view, that means that you have a certain bias. When you're omnipotent, all knowing, all powerful, it's like you don't have none of none of those thoughts anymore. You're just like, well, I can see the future, I can see everything, I can hear everything. I know what's gonna happen before it even happens. And I'm doing this because for the future. But as a human being, you're gonna look at it like, well, it's hurting me. It's it's hurting me right now. You're not gonna look at the bigger picture. So that's that's it. Wow. That's crazy. Being ultimate alien X may turn the universe against Ben because each planet You're gonna turn yourself against yourself? Hey, hold on. Let me let me just fix something real quick. I couldn't download Kingdom Hearts 3. What you mean, my boy? What you mean? Wait, hold on. Let me just fix this shit right here. Uh, I forgot my train of thought. He's gonna come back. They can only perceive how it affects them personally, and not the massive machine's inner workings of the universe. If Ben has the power to change reality every which way he wants, then technically, no evil should exist, right? Each time Ben seems to have the chance to change things to his liking, he's turned it down, such as an Ultimate Aliens finale. And I feel like trying to, like, you need evil within the universe. As bad as you don't want it like there's light right and light can't exist without dark or darkness can't exist without light like you need both so if something bad happens it's because it's needed to happen and it sucks but that's just the course of life in general decided that free will is more important. Or even when Ben remade the universe, he kept everything practically the same, bad guys and all. But with Ultimate Alien X, which simulates so many simultaneous perspectives that it dilutes Ben's own personality, what moral limitations would he have then? And in turn, what actions does he choose not to perform that the mortals down below would disagree with? Why doesn't Ben revive Cannibal's own planet? Why doesn't he bring any of his fallen friends back to life? Why does he allow tyrants, dictators, to exist? 
you can never truly say what is right and wrong for Ultimate Alien X to do when your perspective is limited to the scale that you're on. Once you become God, it's easy to suddenly make everything wrong in the world your fault. Because if you have the power to change it, and you don't, doesn't that make you just as guilty and compliant? Obviously, that isn't the case, as things are more complicated than that. What may seem like a good idea for one galaxy could be devastating to another. And, and did I not just say that? I said that, right? <laughs> oh, crap. Damn, wait, hold up. Damn. I knocked my 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 thing out. I just finished saying that. Like, what could be beneficial to one planet or one universe or one galaxy could hurt the next. So we can't even say what's right or wrong. I feel like the concept that humans made what's right and what's wrong shouldn't even exist because now we're prejudiced. Or not prejudiced, we, we feel like this is the right way to do things. Why is it the right way to do things? This is the wrong way to do things. Why is it that's the wrong way and not the right way? We, as mortals, we feel like we, we try to dictate and we don't go on a, on a straight and narrow path, which is, it's, it's so complicated. This topic is complicated. Like I can't even say what I'm saying is correct. This is just my opinion. This is just his opinion. So it's like, who's to say that we're not wrong? We just have people that agree with us. And also, the natural progression of the timeline is important to keep intact, which has been highlighted throughout the Prime series. And as Ben and base form Alien X still has his own empathy to realize the importance of free will, with Ultimate Alien X, how would a god without bias run the universe? I'd imagine that a being like that wouldn't directly interact with anything. No splitting the skies, wiping out planets, bringing things back from the dead or... Nah, that makes me think, right? Religious-wise. Like, that's probably why our God, right, doesn't interact with us like that because he's supposed to hold no bias. And when he doesn't do what we want him to do, we look at him like, oh, well, you're an all-powerful God. You could easily bring back people from the dead. Right? This whole video turned into something religious. Or like, like it, it turned to something that it wasn't supposed to turn into. <laughs> like, like the thoughts that actually go into this one topic is like, what is a God? Right? Like, how would you be a good God? We see being a good God is all the wrong is wiped away and all the good stays. But the good could easily turn this into something terrible, like mass genocide. It could easily turn as, okay, we wipe out the wrong. We do, we, we kill everything that is wrong with the world. And we say it's justice. Look how, now look at it. Look at it like this, right? We say that it's justice now, but we, we just wiped out a whole bunch of people because they did something wrong. Say you stole something from the store, right? We killed you because you stole something from the store. That's evil. <laughs> Even though he easily could. When you have the ultimate perception of the universe and everyone in it, and the power to do anything you want, perhaps it's best to let nature take its course yeah. and alter things in subtle, passive ways, trickling down dominoes that lead to the intended effects without skipping to the end result. Now, here's another thing. You see how when somebody dies... And, and it happens in a lot of, you know, shows. Dragon Ball, Superman, Batman, Flash. Like, I'm just using those for examples. You see when they interfere and try to do stuff on their own as like little demigods, try to um, reverse time or try to, or something that Trunks did. He, he went back in time and created a whole new timeline where Goku didn't really die. He stayed alive. He got to have another kid. He got to see his kids grow up. He got grandkids. That wasn't even supposed to happen, right? But it affected the universe. Now we got gods, Beerus is here. Like all the stuff that wasn't supposed to happen, happened. 
right? You got Superman. No, you got the Flash. He went back in time to save his mom from dying. I seen the animation and I seen the, the recent movie. He kept going back in time and kept messing up the timeline. And that eventually, you had different versions of Superman colliding with each other, messing up the universe, messing up reality, messing up space. And I'm like, yo, affecting time, just let nature take its course because it's supposed to happen. If your mom passes away, it's because it's supposed to happen. How she passes away, I don't know. But if she, somebody who's close to you randomly passes away, it's because it was supposed to happen. So, it's crazy, bro. Damn. Opportunities for things to go the right way without solving the problems directly. Giving folks the chance to change their own destiny, you may need to fight larger multiversal threats that the majority of the universe's population will never be aware of. Yeah. I hope this gives you a taste of what I believe an ultimate alien X would be like. It may feel a bit vague, but trying to come up with something even greater than alien X is already a challenge. Maybe we'll never really know what an ultimate alien would be like yeah but it's fun to think about isn't it it's also worth noting that all of this is hypothetical it's strictly my interpretation of how this character would work but if you have your own ideas i'd love to hear them down below thanks to everyone who contributed some fan art for me to use earlier i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend and as always keep it busy <laughs> oh that's so dope You know, I need somebody to like, if I do make a Patreon, like I need somebody to like help me. I'll pay you, but I need somebody to help me like make something like this. Um, so I can promote, you know, cause I got a, I got, you know, some artists in my, in my, um, what's it called? What's that? I don't remember what the app is called. It's going to come back to me. Um, but yeah, I need somebody to help me with that. Anyway, y'all, it's been your boy Sue. If you guys really enjoyed the video, all you have to do is Subscribe and hit the like button for your boy. And Inkting, thank you for even bringing up this video, bro. I really enjoyed the topic alone. The topic alone was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> wow. It's me, boy Sue. We're out of here, y'all. Peace.